Hello everyone! Welcome to Reading Through the Generations. Today I thought we could do a book tag um, since Kelly from Books I'm Not Reading did a New Year booktuber tag and I thought this would be a good opportunity for you to learn a little bit more about me. So let's dive in, shall we? Question number one is, what are you most excited about for 2023? Well, absolutely everything. Um, the new year is always full of hope, anticipation for what's to come, and promise of new beginnings that one can't help but be excited. Um, we have so many plans for the garden. I have so many plans for books that I want to read, especially new authors from all around uh, the globe that I'd like to get to. Um, let's see. Question number two. What is your Goodreads challenge goal and why that number? Well, I'm trying... I've set it to 50 just as a Goldilocks number, but I'm trying not to focus so much on that because in the past when I've set it to a high number, it almost felt as though I was losing the pleasure and joy of the reading experience. And it almost became like a race to try to get to that goal. So a number really isn't that important to me. I really just want to read books that move me and inspire me. Question number three is name three five-star predictions. I predict that The Land of Forgotten Girls by Erin and Trotta Kelly will be a five-star read. Last year, her book, Lalani of the Distant Sea, was my top favorite uh, book of the year. And I've also read a Hello Universe of hers. That was also brilliant. Do Not Say We Have Nothing by Madeline Tin. Um, this will be a new author to me, and I've heard really wonderful things about it, so I predict that this will be a five-star prediction as well. And then The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro. Um, I've... I really fell in love with Claire and the Sun that he wrote, and I expect this to be just as brilliant. Next question is what genre do you want to read more of? Well, my favorite genre is magical realism, so definitely more of that, but I also enjoy reading history, nonfiction, nature writing, and poetry. Next question is what genre or trope do you think will be most popular this year? Well, this one's difficult because everyone's tastes are so unique. So let me know down in the comment section what you expect the favorite genre or trope will be this year. Um, I expect cozy mysteries and cozy fantasy like Legends and Lattes and Richard Osman's uh, Thursday Murder Club will be really popular just because those books are so beloved. Next question. Name three bookish goals for the year. Well, I definitely want to try to read more of my physical TBR shelf. I want to read more global classics and folk tales from around the world. I also want to discover more Philippine authors. I've already mentioned Erin and Trotta Kelly, and I really adore the book she writes, and she's such a huge role model for me, as I'd also like to read or write middle grade books one day. Uh, next question is, name three personal goals for the year. Well, I try to think of three key words to set my intentions for the new year, and this year they are nature, inspiration, and mindfulness. I take a lot of inspiration from nature, and I use it in the poetry that I write and the stories that I write, uh, but I really just want to try to be out in nature on a regular daily basis and try um, returning back to hiking. There's a lot of trails that I'd like to walk and hike on and inspiration. I just want to do more that fills me up with joy and curiosity. Mindfulness, I tend to overthink and overanalyze things. I think we all do that. 
So just trying to be more in the now. And I worked on this a lot last year, but I'm still a work in progress. And then the next question is, what do you want to leave behind in 2022? Well, this is a difficult question because where would we be without our trials and tribulations? Um, there are opportunities for us to grow and learn more about ourselves and the world um, that we interact with. So I accept and make peace with all of last year's struggles because I tried to grow from them and I learned and created from pain and grief and that's all we can really do, right? So this is the end of the questionnaire. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, take good care. Bye-bye.